you do something that's kind of like a... That's like that, that's like the basic melody. Yeah. Do you have like a technique that you would say, or some things that you might do to that? Or this, like a pattern to you it, say? Like study. Not really a pattern. That's different. It's the same right. thing, but it's kind of just different. Out of chords, right? Or, well, is there anything for that, soloing? Okay. So you could so take, take a basic melody and say, if I wanted to jazz this up a little bit, it would help. Well, what I did with that basic melody right there, how I how I learned to play it like I do now, was I went. Oh, I can't play it. Take that, and what I did with it, I mean, the way that, I, the way I think, you know, we're, so you we're, threw that off key, you, you threw that off note in there, even though it's not in the scale, just to make it interesting. Right. I, I don't care, there are no wrong notes. To me, if, if you listen to a jazz guitar player, they start in the right place, and they end in the right place. And anything in between is fair game. You know, it's just a matter of, of making it appear like you're actually, I mean, you, you've got to actually do it, but a lot of it is just appearance that you're, you just have to play in a scale. And, you know, there are probably five different scales you can play out of in any one key. And I mean major scales that fit, I mean, to a point. And all the notes don't have to fit. You just have to find one or two in five notes that that, are, that sound okay. Just don't and stay then, on the off ones too long. Right, exactly. And you just have to get to where you're going. It's just like getting in a car. It doesn't matter how you get there as long as you make it. And if I take, like, Red Hair Boy. Like, I had to get to that note right there because that's a, that's a definitive note in that tune. those half-step-off notes that are giving it that more bluesy sound exactly. to it.